you probably know a horror game franchise called Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Well, there was rumored to be an unreleased game which was claimed to be the first Five Nights at Freddy's game in the franchise back in 2013. It was believed that Scott wanted to make a real horror game unlike the other ones, and like the other horror games, like Slender, Amnesia, and Outlast, it was realized that it was a mistake that he had made, needing to be stopped. The time I found the download and played it was on December 3rd, 2014, while I was messing around with Inspect Elements on Scott's website. I decided to type in scottgames.com backslash offline.exe And for some random reason, when I pressed enter, a download appeared titled Five Nights at Freddy's Zero. I was confused as to why, why Scott would add a download in such a random link. But I was pretty proud of myself for being the first to discover it. When I clicked on it, it took me to a menu, which was the same menu as Five Nights at Freddy's 1. But the version 0.31 was gone, and the Scott Cawthon 2014 and the title were replaced with Scott Cawthon 2013 and Five Nights at Freddy's 0. I hit New Game. It didn't take me to an intro with a newspaper stating that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza needs a night guard. In fact, it just skipped straight to the game. The security office didn't look very interesting. A gray blank wall with no posters, a hallway in the middle, and a, a table with a puppet plushie, which seemed withered with a cracked mask. Blood running from the eye holes and organs bursting from the chest. Then there was a phone call. Uh, hello? Hello? Well, if you're hearing this, the chances are... Death will come for you. You made a poor career choice. Death will come for you. What kind of employee would say that? I decided to open the camera, and I realized that I only had... Two of them. Camera 8. And camera negative 6. I flipped to camera 8 to find that Golden Freddy was standing in what appears to be a child's bedroom with a realistic baby in a crib behind him, crying. The strange thing about Golden Freddy is that his jaw was missing and that he had bloodshot eyes. I switched to cam negative 6, which had no signal. I checked the hall light to find Golden Freddy, again with no jaw, but now with black, soulless eyes. I tried to close the door, finding out that the door button wouldn't work as it looked like blood was spilled on it. And I mean, of course it wouldn't work. Why would a door button covered in blood work anyways? I checked the hall light once more to see if Golden Freddy was gone. And when I checked it, it went black for a second, and then went back to normal. Except that the door was absent, and that the puppet's purple tears and lipsticks were gone, as if they were washed off. I checked the cameras again. This time there was a new camera. Camera Zero. I checked Camera Zero, finding that it was a non-8-bit recreation ending of FNAF 3, where Purple Man gets killed inside of Springtrap, but not 3D rendered. In fact, it looked like as if it happened in real life. The ghosts of the five children looked as... as if they were burned alive. And that's when I heard a scream. In fact, it sounded so realistic that I actually jumped out of my seat. I scrambled onto my feet and checked camera 8. When I checked it, something was different. The baby that was in the crib was absent, and Golden Freddy was soaked in blood. Blood drained from my face and was refilled with dread. 
a dread that occurred when Golden Freddy would look at me. So I quickly switched to camera negative six. And when I saw this camera, I was horrified. What I saw was a picture of a child inside an abandoned Freddy Fazbear's pizza, lying down with the same details as the puppet plushie in the office. Cracked, open head, bleeding eye sockets, and organs bursting from the chest. But unlike the puppet plushie, other organs were spilling out of the mouth. And behind him were two legs with purple pants on that that were covered in blood. Possibly the purple man. I almost vomited at that point, so I closed the monitor, only triggering Golden Freddy's jump scare. Not the same one Golden Freddy would was used in this version, but Golden Freddy actually showing his teeth, like in the poster that you would see very rarely including the slowed down version of the scream for one second, until my computer crashed and went blue. At that point, from what I saw, from the corner of my eye, it looked to be a bloody, jawless Golden Freddy. I quickly looked at where he was standing, but I saw nothing. I looked back at my computer screen, which was still on the BSOD. I tried restarting, but I got the same blue screen, meaning I had to reboot my entire computer. Thankfully, it booted up as normal. That's when I got to the Windows 7 startup sound, and in the middle of that, the same Golden Freddy jump scare appeared yet again. But unlike the other one, it didn't cause my computer to go blue screen. In fact, it stayed even after the scream. I tried shutting down my computer by holding down the power button, but it didn't work. I waited for it to end, and it just stayed there for two minutes, until it finally went to my desktop. This time there was a notepad on my desktop. It had no name. I opened it up only to find that it said, Can you guess who I am? blood drained from my face. I, I deleted the text file and emptied my recycling bin. Last night, when I was about to enter my bedroom, I saw the same figure running through the hallway. It's been two months after the incident when I played FNAF Zero. I typed in scottgames.com backslash offline.exe again to see if it still worked or not, but only directed me to a page with a white background and black text, saying, This page is no longer available, as it will give you a download that will harm your computer. My final conclusion was that Scott's website was hacked by a person with a sick, twisted mind and added that download link. And that Scott later found that out and deleted it to avoid others finding it and blaming it on him. Two weeks later, I received an email from an unknown person. I clicked on it and found out that it only had three words. Cryptically stating, It was me.